Hey everyone, it's Green Ad Guide. Did you know that people in their 40s and 50s drink two and a half more times the caffeine as people in their teens and 20s? Yeah. So if you're drinking a shit ton of caffeine today, let's talk about what you can do so that you don't overdose on caffeine when you're 50. Ready? Let's go. Welcome to the Caffeine at Midnight podcast, a short, no BS, science-based podcast for people who drink caffeine and work beyond the nine to five. I'm your host, Danielle Robertson-Rath, also known as Green-Eyed Guide. I research caffeine, energy drinks, and fatigue in the workplace. I'm the author of Are You a Monster or a Rockstar? A Guide to Energy Drinks and How to Get Shit Done When You Feel Like Shit. Oh, by the way, Uh, I kind of like the S word, sorry. You can learn more about me, what I do, my books, my educational background, all that good stuff at greeneyedguide.com. For now, grab your favorite caffeinated beverage and your favorite note-taking app, and let's do this. Apologies in advance if you hear the sounds of my bulldog or my baby in the background. I don't have a lot of time or a lot of fancy podcast equipment. What I do have is a lot of passion, and the Anchor app allows me to share that passion with you, dear listeners. If you are considering your own podcast, I highly recommend using Anchor. It's completely free. You can record, edit, and publish right from your phone, and Anchor distributes to Spotify, Stitcher, Apple, and all the other podcasts. You can download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Let's get started. According to one of my favorite research papers ever, people in their 40s and 50s drink two and a half times more caffeine than people in their teens and one and a half times more caffeine than people in their 20s and 30s. Now, this might come as a surprise to you if you've seen the sheer number of news articles that suggest teens are chugging energy drinks left and right and college students are overtaking coffee shops and just drinking caffeine all day long. So that's really not the case. If we look at this research paper closely, we'll notice that people drink more caffeine as they age. Now this is probably not that surprising. If you think about it, You have a lot more energy when you're younger, and as you get older, your body slows down, your mind gets a little jaded, it's a little harder to get excited and feel energetic about life. And so yeah, as we get older, we need a little bit more help feeling awake and alert and excited. So maybe it doesn't come as a surprise to you that people in their 50s and 60s drink more caffeine than college students. But I don't know, as a college student, I needed caffeine all the time, so I think it could go either way. For the sake of being thorough, let me give you the numbers before we talk about why this matters and what you should do about it. So this comes from a research paper titled Beverage Caffeine Intakes in the U.S. I want to look specifically at the 90th percentile, so in each age group, the people in that age group who drink more caffeine than anyone else their age. So I will put it in terms of Red Bulls and cups of coffee just to keep it a little bit simple. Teens in this 90th percentile drink two Red Bulls a day or three cups of coffee a day. People in their 20s and 30s drink three Red Bulls or three cups of coffee a day. People in their 40s and 50s drink six Red Bulls or five cups of coffee a day. Now, Here's why this matters. Number one, people in their 40s and 50s are drinking more caffeine than you should have in one day. They're drinking over this magical 400 milligram amount. And I call it magical because this is the number that science with a capital S has decided as your daily max for caffeine intake. If you go above 400, caffeine's side effects outweigh the caffeine benefits. So 400 is the magical daily max for healthy adults. And people in their 40s and 50s, according to this research paper, are drinking six Red Bulls or five cups of coffee, which is over this magical 400 milligram limit. Now, here's why this matters number two. 
If you are in your teens or 20s and 30s, first of all, thanks for listening to this podcast. Second of all, if you're drinking a lot of caffeine today, that means that you're going to need two or maybe even three times as much caffeine 20 years from now. So if you're already close to that magical 400 milligram amount per day now, then you're really screwed in the future. And this is a problem because this is something that you need to watch today. If you are drinking a lot of caffeine today, then your risk, your health risks from high caffeine intakes is going to be a problem in the future. So in short, what you drink today, you're going to need two or three times more in the future, which might be bad for your health. So here's what to do about it. Number one, nurse every drop of caffeine. Anytime you have caffeine, whether it's coffee or tea or an energy drink, nurse that sucker. Make it last as long as possible. I am known for having energy drinks half open in the refrigerator because I drink it, I feel alert, and I put the rest away. I save it for tomorrow. This is something I've been doing since I was a college student, and it's always worked for me. I mean, yeah, energy drinks don't really taste that great the second day, but it still works. And I'm not getting more caffeine than I needed. I'm not getting any jitters. I'm not getting any anxiety. My caffeine is not affecting my sleep because I'm only drinking as much as I need. I'm nursing it throughout my whole day and I'm putting it in the refrigerator for day two. The second thing you can do is try to wake up without caffeine. And this is the whole point of my last book, How to Get Shit Done When You Feel Like Shit. But this whole book talks about all the different things you can do at every level of fatigue that don't involve caffeine. And I really can't summarize the whole book here on this podcast, at least, you know, not without talking for an hour. But one of the things that not enough people do is drink water. There are so many people, myself and my mom included, hi mom, I love you, who drink caffeine when they're dehydrated. The problem is when you're dehydrated, you're tired. So you always have to drink water first. And you probably need to drink more water than you're drinking now if you're constantly feeling tired. So that's an easy, easy thing you can do to try to minimize your dependence on caffeine, to try to drink less caffeine per day, really up your water intake, and that should help. Now, there are so many other tips, like I said, which I don't have time to get into. I highly recommend picking up my latest book, How to Get Shit Done When You Feel Like Shit, available on Amazon as an ebook and as a paperback. That book has lots of other tips for how to wake up without caffeine, and those tips are the secret to making sure that you're not having more caffeine than you should, that you're not jeopardizing your health in 10 and 20 years by building this increasing caffeine intake over, you know, over your life cycle. I hope that helps. Thanks again for listening. Take care. I hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed today's episode, I would really appreciate it if you shared it with at least one person. Word of mouth works great. You can also take a screenshot or share the link on any social media channel you like best. Just remember to tag me at Green Eyed Guide. You'll also find a lot more information about me, what I do, and some freebies at greeneyedguide.com freebies. Take care. Bye-bye.